Hey everybody, this is uh, Eric Clark's Travel Videos again. I am gonna go over to Nin, Croatia. And it's, maybe it's Nin, maybe it's Nan, maybe it's Nun. Uh, <laughs> anyway, N-I-N is how it's spelled. So I'm gonna go over there. It's supposed to be like a little island in a beach place. They have like healing mud and salt water, kind of weird stuff. But anyway, I guess I'll go take a look and, uh, and I'll do a video and I'll share it with you. That's it. Thanks for coming along and subscribe. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. All right, everybody. I bought a ticket and she says it's Nin, so I'm saying it right. And it's way down here, bus stop 29. So just to be aware that uh, Zadar has a crap load of bus stops. I mean, there's tons. There's more over there and everything else. But so 29, and it cost me 17 kuna, which is probably what, 250? Yeah, I'm close, three bucks maybe at the most, and I leave at 9.30. So, after walking here, I'm finally here, and I'm going to Nin. So the bus lets you off, and then you walk, and there's usually two bridges, I guess I've been told. But they said that one's washed out, and you can tell it looks like it's under construction. And then you have this one. And then this is the city of Nin. Um... And it's got a big church and it looks like it's got castle walls all the way around and irrigation fields and it's got a smell <laughs> but uh this is nin i guess i'll get into town more and see what we got but there's got to be water and ocean here somewhere i mean there's a crap load of tourists ahead of me so i figure we're all here to see something so i guess i'll go see what we see <laughs> bye everybody right, as always there's a uh, a church in the center of town and it's usually the tallest building around so that you can always see it right at least that's the rule of thumb I always hear so I'm thinking when we get around this corner and I should be able to see it better and there are lots of tourists and stuff a couple buses pulled in while I was walking here oh look I can see just like in, uh, what was that other place? The wizard. Looks like the same statue. All right. This looks like a church. Cool. Maybe that's an old church up there, huh? It looks like there's tourists going up that way. Does that make this the center of town? I guess it probably does. So in Split, if you remember, there was this same wizard. that way but I guess I'll go that way here in a minute but I'm gonna go over here and look real quick this looks like an old church that's obviously protected or something but I saw tourists going this way so so again this must have been some kind of building or something That's a good view that way too. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go walk around a little bit and I'll take some more pictures in a second. Bye. Okay, here's the Museum of Nin Antiques. And this looks like the main street right here. And it looks certainly like a small little town. So I guess we'll walk this way and see what we get. That looks like the front of the church over there. So I guess I'll head that way. Anyway, there's restaurants and bars and people walking so it's tradition <laughs> okay right, right. I'm gonna head into this church here this is the Arch Parish Church of St. Anselm. Anselm this is the main street I asked the lady and she said this is it so I'll go down that when I get a chance but this is St. Anselm it's just a pretty basic little church the chandelier that just won't quit.
Cute. All right. So this is the main street, lady said. So I guess I'll walk down it and see where it goes. Um, she did say that St. Nicholas, which is another church that I read about, is this way. Um, here, just to wet your whistles. Candy store. <laughs> they all seem to have a candy store, I guess. And a city bank. city walls it looks like. This looks like it could have been the city gate at one time. bet this goes to that bridge that got washed away. So I was gonna come across one bridge and the lady, like I was saying, told me that uh, the bridge had gotten washed away or flooded out or something and damaged and so they have to redo it all. Yeah, and here's a bunch of tourists. So. Wow, so I guess at one point this was to have a, a nice bridge here. Oh, it used to have a nice old bridge too. Wow, it looks like they're gonna try to reconstruct it. Okay. All right, and then here's the ocean and the sea walk. And a lot of the things I've read about this, it has like healing mud. And so there's lots of people with mud all over themselves and in the water and those kind of things. But uh, certainly big fish and they look like trout almost. I guess it could be carp or something weird, but I guess I'll walk this way and see what's around the town. I'll pause for a second and let you take that in. It's a pretty view. Thanks for coming along, everybody. I'm Bye. just walking around the like island of Nin, and I don't see a lot here. It's just an old, sleepy little, quiet town, and and I bet there are. Maybe mud baths or mud things or healing waters or something, but it looks like it just goes all the way around. But uh, I guess I'll keep going and see what I see. What the heck, huh? Certainly a boating village. Okay. It's a warm day, too. Bye, everybody. Okay, still walking around. Um, so it looks like there used to be an outer wall all the way around. So this used to be part of some kind of structure. I mean, look how thick that wall is. Um, so maybe a watchtower? Because there's more down this way too. You can see this wall goes the whole way. And then over there's another tower. And then way, way down there, there's another tower. Sorry about the wind. Yeah, I bet being so close to the water, I bet it had some real flooding issues because in there it looks really green and uh, pretty lush and I see a lot of drainage pipes coming out of here. So maybe at one point they really had to build this up. Um, and maybe it's just an ongoing battle, huh? And that looks like the newer side. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, the graveyard, I don't want to go 
it's this way or do I want to go back through town and see this? Well, I guess these are just city walls, so I guess I'll go through the, the graveyard, huh? Uh, are they just big slabs? Huh, now that's interesting actually. It's like a drawer. It's like they've all got drawers on them. Huh. So what do you do? Dig out the front and slide your person in? Maybe it's just a bunch of empty rooms or something and you, you just shove them in and maybe you get like two or three people in each one. This one looks different, but it has a drawer too. So I don't... Huh. Interesting. How old are these? 1931. So it's two people who live here. Uh, or lay here. Huh. All right. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't think these are people, so I can walk over this, I guess. Maybe this is just enough room to drop in a person. The, the average person's five foot something. I guess they have to fold you up or something, huh? over here just to see because here's this outer wall on the inside so there must have been a tower of some kind but all right moving on bye everybody well there's more ruins of some kind here so i can't tell what this is i don't think this is a house maybe it's a series of houses um but at least it's kind of protected you can't really get inside so that's a plus uh, and there's other tourists, so... Lots of tourists. Oh, it's a Roman house. Got it. Huh. Atrium, entrance hall, bathroom, utility room, dining room, bedroom, kitchen, living room. Wow, okay. So what is... D, D is the dining room, huh? That's that over there. And so what are these first ones? C is... Utility room, and then... E and E is bedroom. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I'm at the Roman temple. So it used to look like this, I guess, at one time. And about the only thing left is this huge column. So imagine, I mean, that's a pretty big, pretty big Roman temple. Does it say what it was from? It doesn't, really. Yeah, okay, so I bet there used to be columns here. And then all the way on the back side. And then this used to be the enclosure. And this was kind of like the porch, kind of like, or maybe the greeting area. And this would be where the door was. That would be my guess. So, can we climb on this? I guess there's no signs. So, imagine columns and maybe columns and then columns and then columns, columns along the front here too. And then back there would be the the main area holding up the roof. Huh. And all these stones that used to be here are now in all these walls and houses. <laughs> like that one. And that one. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. You gotta use your imagination on these things. Cool. So I walked into the square, do you remember? This is how I started and it was pretty empty. <laughs> and now this little place is hopping full of tourists. You know, I guess when there's this many tourists coming to a place, I mean, it really, and they're all foreigners, like very, very, very fine uh, English speaking tourists, but 
But you have to imagine that these people spend all this money and it makes a huge impact on their economy. How you doing? Yeah, they don't, they don't understand anything. <laughs> okay, you can see all the way down there how many tourists there are here. Yeah, the whole street's filled. Wow, amazing. Okay, so I went inside and I, uh, I bought a beer. <laughs> and uh, they were cheap here, $8.99, that's not bad. And uh, so dollar ten, dollar twenty. Anyway, so I asked him what to see. I told him about the Roman temple. I told him about the Roman house. I told him I walked all the way around the island. He says this is the number one attraction. You can see all the tourists. This is the smallest cathedral in the world. Smallest cathedral in the world. And it's still an active cathedral. And you can see people going inside. So I think I'm going to go inside and see what the smallest cathedral in the world looks like. Amazing. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, this is the smallest cathedral in the world and I walked right by it and I didn't even understand what I was looking at. So I guess I get why it's important. Um, but the door is open and there's, <laughs> there was a huge line here a minute ago, so I guess I'll jump in while I can, huh? The smallest cathedral in the world, huh? door. Okay, we're the smallest cathedral in the world, the Church of the Holy Cross, Sakva Svekriza. <laughs> Beats me. But uh, it's certainly crowded inside, and there's certainly a lot of tourists. I guess there's groups just waiting for their turn, so, all right. Well, at least we've seen the smallest cathedral in the world. Pretty amazing. And it looks like it was in the walled city, so it was probably all protected and guarded. These were probably either all businesses or, you know, who knows. Interesting. Neat. We right, uh, uh, tour through Nin. So it's got the, the Roman house. It's got the Roman temple. It's got the oldest cathedral in the world. And it's got that statue. <laughs> so, uh, and the outer walls are pretty neat. And the mud baths, if that's what you're doing. I'm not a mud bath kind of guy, but uh, I work hard to stay clean. <laughs> Don't like getting dirty. Well, anyway, that's a whole other story. Okay, thanks everybody for coming along. Subscribe, would you? Bye.